back to my channel. It has been a minute since I have sat down and done a proper video and chatted with you guys. So nice to be back. I'm talking about something that I'm very passionate about, which is of course beauty and skincare, but I'm gonna share brands that I discovered in 2021 that have just really blown me away in some way, shape or form. And I'm gonna tell you why. But first of all, just wanted to let you know that I've been working on so many different things. We've got the podcast going, blog posts are up and running. So if you guys are not checking the blog, there's always new posts over there. Between Erin and I, we've been reviewing more products. So it's been super, super successful over there. Always on Instagram, on TikTok. I'm off Clubhouse now for the time being because I just have to prioritize my time but it's just been a lot. So it's nice to be back. I love sitting and talking to the camera. I love engaging with you guys in the YouTube comment section. So of course, once you see this video, if your bell was turned on, you're probably gonna see this first. It's really nice to be back. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Tell me in the comments how you've been. I will do my best to be as consistent as possible and create more videos because I do enjoy this. It's just, it kind of takes the back burner when it comes to Instagram, TikTok, the blog, and all the other stuff. So. Apologies, but I'm back. Let's talk about all of the brands that I discovered this year that have completely blown me away. And let's try to avoid looking at the back of my hands. CrossFit has really torn them up. They look not cute, but let's get into this. First and foremost, we're gonna talk about Augustinus Bader. And what I'm gonna do is I just picked a couple products, typically not all of them from the specific brands I wanna talk about, just because I didn't wanna put everything on this table and then have to take it all back. So there's one or two products from most of the brands. This one I feel like is gonna come as no surprise. You've heard a lot about Augustinus Bader over the last year. I finally started diving into everything. I think it was at the end of February because I worked with Cosbar. They have amazing deals and typically the best type of inventory. So I'll have a link to them down below. I worked with them earlier in the year. I'm not currently working with them, but I get all of my luxury beauty goodies from their site. This was amongst the best. This is the cleansing gel. And I'm gonna tell you right now, a lot of companies claim that it's going to take off waterproof mascara, that it's actually going to cleanse the skin fully. This one actually does it. And so I was impressed because it is luxury. Typically when you find a luxury brand, you're not going to get everything off the skin. They do a really fantastic job. But then we also have the body cream, which is super hydrating. It is unlike any other body cream. It's super luxurious, but it's really thick and it blends into the skin really nicely. And then this is the Essence, basically a replacement for toner. Some people use Essence and toner and you would go toner first, then Essence. I like to do one or the other. I don't really see a reason to do both because they do kind of have the same purpose. The essence is usually made with a little bit more antioxidants and it helps all the serums that you're gonna apply absorb better into your skin, whereas the toner is actually meant to still keep stripping the skin. But the essence still tends to remove additional dirt and grime before you put on your serums. So they do serve a similar purpose. Western culture will call it the toner and then in eastern culture it started off as essence so quick lesson there on toner and essence but augustinus bader has really blown me away it is worth the hype i have not heard anybody say mm, meh it wasn't worth it and i really still want to try the oil that's definitely on my list knowing that everything else has been so good the oil is going to be in my cart very soon we're going to talk about playa and i feel like i did discover playa in 2020 but I'm just gonna say I discovered it this year because I feel like we've been really heavy into Playa over the last six months. But honestly, I'm trying to remember and I do feel like it's been a lot longer. The brand is incredible, super clean, formulated in California. They have an amazing sea salt shampoo that's kind of like a scrub. Once you start lathering it into your hair, the scrub particles kind of just burst and it's this beautiful foamy wash, but the scrub actually helps activate your scalp which opens up the pores and will help with regrowth of your hair it's incredible you've also got the hair oil which smells amazing it is not super greasy and not super thick you kind of just apply it to the ends and you can do it with wet hair or once it dries it's totally up to you really amazing hair oil then we've also got just the everyday shampoo and the everyday conditioner 
beautiful formulations again i love the everyday shampoo that's probably my favorite product and then they also have a really nice texture like dry shampoo situation actually there's a texturizer like a dry volume powder and then also a dry shampoo two separate products both amazing. I like the texture powder because it almost serves as a dry shampoo, but also adds a little bit of va va voom volume to the hair. But overall, Playa is amazing. And this one is the brassiness. It's the Violet Brightening Shampoo. Since I got highlights, I do like to apply a little bit of this once or twice a week. Typically, I remember this maybe once every two to three weeks, and it does help bring a little bit of shine back to the blonder color in my hair. So overall incredible brand i do have a discount code with them i will have it in the caption below i don't remember it off the top of my head right now there's too many discount codes sent to me and i honestly don't even share most of them but for playa i'll share that with you guys and there is a kickback on my end if you use my code i do make some sort of affiliate sales i'll have that in the caption if you guys are interested but Truly amazing brand, clean, vegan, cruelty-free, all of that good stuff, all the things we care about when it comes to the environment. And their packaging is also recyclable, which makes them super sustainable. So highly recommend Playa, incredible company. So this next one is going to be no surprise if you follow me over on Instagram. We're talking about Agent Nature, And if you're French, you would say Agent Nature, something like that. But the creator of the company is not French, <laughs> so I'm gonna say Agent Nature. And I think some of my favorite products are definitely the Holly Main, which is a collagen hair, skin, and nail supplement. Now hear me out. We've already talked about this over on Instagram. I've had Dr. Mike Nayak actually come and do an Instagram IGTV. We did it live, which then turned into an IGTV. Wow, words are hard. And he basically broke down collagen. When you ingest collagen, it is not necessarily going to know to go to your hair, skin, and nails. It's being processed just like any other collagen in your body, like protein, whey, all of that stuff. So he broke that down and kind of demidified the fact that collagen does not necessarily mean it's going to go to hair, skin, and nails. Having said that, what Agent Nature has done is they did a blind study where they had half the participants taking Holly Main, which is their supplement, and half of them not. The people who were in the study that were taking the Holly Main powder had substantially, substantially less hair shedding. So it's not necessarily to say that your hair is gonna grow back voluminous and be super thick and your nails are gonna grow so long. It's basically saying that for a fact, in this study, they found that your hair sheds less, which is 100% accurate. It's been my experience. Before I started taking the supplement, which is just one scoop a day, it could go in a smoothie, your tea, your coffee, whatever. Use a frother so it kind of blends all in. If you take that once a day, you notice after about two to three months that your hair is falling out less. Before I started taking it, I had like hundreds of hairs fall out a day. They would cover a shirt like this. It would be on the front, it would be on the back. It would be like poking my arms. I would see the hairs kind of sticking everywhere. They would be in our laundry. That is no longer the case. I lose maybe, maybe 10 hairs a day now. 10 i can count them because i see it when i kind of brush through my hair and i pull it out it is so much more minimal and it's crazy because you guys have really noticed it especially when i wear my hair up you can really see like the holes and kind of the bald spots and you guys have noticed that they are substantially less and that is because less hair is falling out it does not necessarily mean that my hair is growing back more less is just falling out which is what you want you want to keep more hair on your head you want to nourish it you want to do hair oils you want to do these things that are actually going to help nourish the hair that you already have versus making your body work harder to grow it back over time so that incredible holly main yes for me i don't know about the rest of the research it's probably not making hair skin and nails or anything like that but the hair shedding it's a fact and it helps with that and that's good enough for me to take it once a day they've also got a lot of deodorants the black one is my favorite. I've tried some of the other scents. I think the black one is like the most fresh and it's unisex, guys, girls, whatever. Everyone can use that one. Probably my two favorite products beyond the Holly Main are the body oil and the eye serum. 
This eye serum is unlike any other eye serum I've ever tried, and trust me, I've tried hundreds. I swear I have, it's crazy. I've always talked about the Kiehl's Avocado Under Eye one. I've talked about the Dr. Dennis Gross one. I've loved the Colleen Rothschild one. I mean, there's so many that I could list that are good, they're okay. This one just gives you such a beautiful glow. I almost wanna put it all over the face, but it's such a small amount. And there's a lot of benefits, antioxidants, a lot of beautiful ingredients that they've put into this product that just make your skin truly glow. I'll actually put some on right now just to show you, but I do a little bit and then kind of just goes under the eyes. It glides beautifully. It's really nice and thin, but look at the insane glow just right out of the gate. If you compare one eye to the other, I mean, let me get closer and I'm gonna look in the viewfinder. This just has, like you can see the dewiness and just the formulation and then this is just kind of like dry and it's like kind of, I don't know, it kind of looks blue. This now looks super hydrated and it has almost that instant highlighter effect as well and obviously you wanna be gentle in this area but it is just a really really nice formula and i'm sorry i'm looking in the viewfinder because it's acting as my mirror right now it's my biggest pet peeve when people do this but you'll forgive me won't you okay i'm gonna stop talking about agent Natur, but this amazing line they only really have sales from what i've found two three times a year max they just had a huge one I don't remember if it was Memorial Day. They had a huge 30% off sale. I'm sure they're gonna have one around the Black Friday time period, but I stock up. I stock up on the Holly Main. I stock up on this body oil. I stock up on the eye serum, everything. Really, really good company. The products are made really well. I really can't speak to anything else, but I just will say that the brand, amazing. Just truly phenomenal products. So let's move to the next one. If again, you follow me over on Instagram, I'm gonna include like a little clip or something so you can click over, head over there. Medicaid, doing a giveaway with them at the moment. This vitamin C is actually completely gone. There's like two drops left, but this is one of the best vitamin C serums I've ever tried. And I've tried the SkinCeuticals, the Dr. Dennis Grosses, I mean, all of the things that you can find at Germ Store, at Skin Store, I've tried them. This one does not have the strange smell that everyone seems to complain about. And I will tell you when it comes to SkinCeuticals, I don't really mind the smell because it almost has like that oxidizing self tanner smell to it when you smell your skin the next day after the vitamin C, but people say it smells like hot dogs to them. So to each their own, this one smells like a nice floral fresh scent because it has pure vitamin C in it. So you're smelling that fruity, citrusy like just brightness it just smells like lemon but it's not overbearing it's not like oh it's gonna burn your eyes kind of lemon but it's got that hint of it and it is just so fresh really beautiful it's not super oily and it is not very thin some of the vitamin c's like the skin suticals it feels very watery and it kind of goes through your fingertips whereas this one has a little bit more of that oil base and so it's beautiful to kind of press your hands together warm it on your hands and then gently tap into your skin i also have the liquid peptides beautiful formulation again lots of anti antioxidants and peptides and this one says that this is a 30 percent complex hydrating peptide serum this is basically bringing you that hyaluronic, a little bit of boost of that hydration. Really incredible brand. I love the vitamin C day cream. They've got a beautiful physical sunscreen that is just zinc oxide. And you guys know, if you listen to the things that I say, a formulation for SPF that is just zinc oxide is so much more um, superior. I was gonna say, what's the word? Superior to those that are mixed with zinc and titanium dioxide. You always want, if you can find, straight zinc oxide because it's going to be a more powerful formulation. Oftentimes what brands do to keep the cost low is mix in titanium dioxide to bring the SPF level up, but titanium dioxide is not as effective as zinc oxide. So if you can get 17% zinc oxide and that's the only ingredient in your sunscreen, you are much better off than getting one that has a mix of the two. Obviously the price is going to go up if it is just zinc oxide, but you're just getting a much more effective product. 
in the long run. It's still good if it's titanium and zinc. It's much better in my opinion than the chemical forms because chemical forms usually have avobenzone, which does have hints of carcinogens. So keep that in mind. We can do a whole other video all about SPF because I love talking about it and I've always been an advocate for it. I have SPF today right now because I'm standing or sitting by my window and I'm not going outside but you're still getting light and you're still getting a little bit of those rays, even though you feel like you're not and you're inside, you're still, it's still hitting through those windows. If the light is coming in, so are those rays guys. Next brand I'm gonna talk about right into it is Dr. Papa. And I don't know if it's Papa or Paul Paul, I don't know how to say it. This was a recommendation from you guys over on Instagram. A lot of people asked me, what are your thoughts on Dr. Papa? And I was like, I have no idea who that is. Never heard of him, first of all. Second of all, never tried them. And they were so kind, they sent me a full spectrum of all the products. And I think so far, I did buy all the Agent Natur stuff. They have gifted me a couple things. I did buy the Augustinus Bader cleansing oil. The essence was gifted to me, but everything else, Besides some of the other brands, I'll let you know, but most things are gifted. I've bought only a couple of the things I'm talking about today. It's kind of a mix. Honestly, these brands I love so much and I've invested my own money and bought more and bought um, backups and all of that. And then in some cases they were just sent to me for sampling and I'm like, these are amazing. But keep that in mind. Some things are sent to me. It doesn't mean that I'm going to say that they're great because they were sent to me. It's not gonna take any amount of money or any amount of free product to make me say that I like it. It's just, it is what it is. So with Dr. Papa, they did send the full spectrum of all the products and I'm just amazed. This is just an amazing cream. It's for like, you can use it as a hair oil. You can use it as a cuticle cream, hands, face, body, every single thing. This is good for literally everything. You can put it on your face. It's not super thick. It fixes irritation from what I've seen. There's actually a lot of different forms of this. This one has a little bit of a tinted pink peach balm, so you can put this as an eyeshadow, you can put it on your cheeks, you can put it kind of all over the skin and give yourself a nice natural glow. They have just regular ones. It is the yellow, the blue. They all have different benefits, but they all do the same thing. It's a multi-purpose balm. Incredible. I'm just amazed and I'm sad that I didn't discover Dr. Papa sooner. Just amazing. Anything you get from him, just enjoy him or her. I don't even know if it's a him or her. That's how little I knew about the brand. But I'll tell you right now, we've tried all of these. I have three balms in each of the bathrooms. I keep one in my purse. It is just a game changer. Highly recommend. Next brand I discovered this year that has completely blown me away is Dr. Laura Devgan. During the Sephora sale earlier in the year, I think it was either February or March, I made a lot of purchases and I had just seen the brand and I'd seen that a lot of their products were pretty high priced. And so I decided to start with the Microderm Abrasion Scrub. I wanna tell you, I've used this about 10, 15 times and there's still so much in here. This is a super gentle exfoliation that is feels like a spa treatment, really makes the skin super soft, beautiful. I've seen so much come off of my skin and I'm like, really, that's crazy. I just did peel pads yesterday. I've always been surprised by how much this actually takes off the skin, but it's a beautiful product and it's probably, I think it is the lowest priced product of her entire line, but it gives you that soft, beautiful skin. So if you were wanting to kind of dip into Dr. Laura Devkin, this would be the perfect thing to try. And then, probably the star of the show for me from her entire line is the Vitamin C, B, and E Ferulic Serum. So it's got vitamin C, it's got vitamin B, and vitamin E. So it is retinol, and it's vitamin C, and it has ferulic. So you're combining a couple different things into one, which is amazing. It does have that SkinCeuticals vitamin C scent to it it feels it smells and feels pharmaceutical medical grade because it is dr laura devkin is a certified doctor she's also i think she's a derm as well she's a doctor and a derm i'm not sure i'll have to double check that but she's obviously medical grade this is professional skincare it's incredible i'm really sad i don't want to use 
all of this product, but just a beautiful job, well done here. And I'm hoping I can see her when I go to New York City in September. For me, she does amazing work surgically and cosmetically, but she also has this beautiful skincare line and it kind of parallels to me with what Dr. Dennis Gross does, except he has a higher focus on his products in my opinion. Obviously he has his practice, but his products really are I think the star of the show and they're so accessible to everybody and his peel pads are becoming more and more accessible and he's just doing a lot of great things so like for me dr laura devkin and dr dennis gross fall into the same level of fangirling personally like you know how some people would fangirl over like selena gomez i'm gonna fangirl over dr laura devkin dr dennis gross like people who I actually respect in the space if that makes sense and i've said that before about dr dennis gross so many times but truly really incredible products and I'll have a link to these two, but I'll also link some of the others that I love because they do a really beautiful hyaluronic acid serum. They also have the amazing lip plumper, which I don't have here with me right now, but I've done it before and after. It creates a huge difference. I mean, it's like, it's crazy how much the lip plumper works in comparison to all the other lip plumpers that we see on the market in Sephora, like the Buxom, you've got, I think the Sephora brand as a lip plumper, there is Stila, uh, Too Faced, all of those lip plumpers just do not compare to hers. And then she also has a really beautiful um, lash serum that makes your lashes grow longer and then also a lengthening mascara. So amazing products. Highly recommend, I've been just completely blown away, which makes sense because it is medical grade, made by a doctor. It's just going to be better, of course. This is a cult favorite that I finally had to try. I bought all of this myself, it was not sent to me. This is Biologique Resurge. I don't know if I'm saying it right, I know I'm not. It's French, so it's probably Biologique Resurge. You know, something with the rolling of the R's and the, I don't know really really incredible line i'm going to talk a little bit about the few products that i did purchase this was from a local spa in scottsdale currently there's no one that sells biologique research in tucson so i went to the closest spot i could find in scottsdale and i will have i'll tag her down below it was the colette skin studio if i remember correctly i think that's like the full name and she was super helpful she just flat rate shipped it to me but I told her my concerns are aging, fine lines, wrinkles, dryness. So we started off with, this is like cold classic. Everybody has this product if you know anything about Biologique. It's the lotion P50 and this is W. So this is a gentle exfoliation and this is kind of the one you start off with when you're just starting with the brand. I, for my next bottle, will get like the next level, which I don't know if it's like P50S or whatever, but this is P50W. So introduction to the brand. The toner is amazing. On days where I do this twice, I can see a noticeable difference in how bright and clear my skin looks. And I do a lot of self tanning. It just still makes my skin look so bright, so dewy. I look healthy, I look like I slept well. So I do attribute it to the toner because the days that I don't use it, I can see the massive difference. Now, this is the Milky Cleanser. It says just cleansing milk. I'm not too impressed with this personally. I think this is fine for the daytime. Nighttime though, it really doesn't take makeup off. So to me, it's kind of useless and it's pretty expensive to not take off like mascara and foundation and all that. So again, I think it's really nice for the daytime, kind of after you get out of bed, you may have been sweating, you may have a little oil, cleanse it off with a very gentle, gentle cleanser, but don't expect it to take off any of your makeup, literally, it's just not, it's not the one for that. Now, this was the very pricey product that I'm trying. It's the Collagen Natif, and it is a firming serum for the skin because I kind of told her that I have laxity. I've got this little guy that I'm dealing with, which I am speaking to Dr. Nayak about. We got a little bit of lax here, and it's going to happen over time. I'm now 30. The skin's, you know, been dealing with gravity for 30 years. Things are going to start to sag. So this serum actually helps to tighten everything up and basically tightens the skin so you look more chiseled and sculpted. And I'm so bad about using this every day, but this is something I would use in the morning. I do my very, very best to remember. And the days that I remember, I can really see the progression over time of using this and kind of firming everything up. 
after just a week i was like whoa this is crazy and then i throw in the tripolar i throw in a little bit of ice rolling and then we're really working to firm the skin up in this like natural at home way so biologic research i think it is worth the hype i know some people are they they don't really see it they do they don't i like the toner and i love this collagen serum the cleansing milk i would honestly skip because it's not really doing that much for me but again, if you have more sensitive skin, a gentle cleanser is perfect. Okay, we are diving into the next brand and I'm actually going to just put the body cream all over the body while I tell you about it. So this one really amazed me. I will also link the blog post I just wrote with Aaron's help about Alicia Keys' new body care line. I was sent the body hand wash, the body oil, and the body cream. I have not tried the other items, but this is just incredible. Look at how gorgeous, glowy the skin looks, nice and smooth. It's got all kinds of amazing ingredients in here, thinking like Manuka honey, we've got cocoa butter, shea butter, so many incredible things. It smells nice and clean, it's not super overpowering. The body oil is my favorite thing ever because I live, I live for a good body oil. And I know I wrote this in the blog post, but I probably have like 300 or more oils in this house because I just cannot live without an oil. And my hands are now too greasy to open this up to show you. But this is just amazing. I mean, it is the most decadent, luxurious body oil. It feels so beautiful. I put this on at night kind of rub it into the skin, it blends beautifully very quickly, and then you can get right into your sheets. It's not gonna transfer, it's not gonna like make your sheets look all gross and yellow or brown from the oil. And I also like to, if I really am feeling dry, I will lather the elbows, the knees, like back of the knees, like ankles, things that just get like really dry easily, lather it on up with the body cream because this is so hydrating. And then, I will say with the hand and body wash, I do prefer to use this for hands because my hands get really messed up from the gym. And sometimes when you're using some of those hand cleansers, they are so stripping and so drying that it is just uncomfortable after you wash your hands once, they feel like so tight. And you're like, oh, why did I just put that on my hands? This does not make you feel that way at all, but it's also beautiful as a body wash in the shower. I was so blown away by this and honestly I will tell you when it comes to celebrity lines I think that you know with like Britney and Christina and some of the other celebrities that did beauty early on in the day they put their names on products that were like very subpar but they knew that they were going to sell because their name was on the product and I have that predisposition and skepticism now going into every single celebrity and I didn't give Alicia Keys' line the benefit of the doubt, but I'm totally blown away. I went in with the skepticism and I was like so blown away. And I just have to say they did a really fantastic job. And the reason I'm really, really impressed is because they are adhering to the guidelines that the EU has in terms of beauty, which in turn means that they are avoiding over 1600 ingredients that are not banned in the US but are banned in the EU. So they're holding themselves to a much higher standard even though they are American made company, American made, American owned, all of that. They're still adhering to EU standards which is just so badass, it gives me so much respect for them and it's the way it should be. If you're a brand in the US, you should be adhering to the EU guidelines. You should be sustainable if you can be. You should be using recycled packaging if you can. Like that is what you should be doing. And so the fact that they are, they're investing that money and just making a better product, especially since obviously they have the means to do so, is just really endearing. And I think it takes the entire industry in the right direction. So major kudos to Keys Soul Care. You guys are killing it. And last, but certainly not least, we have Lux Unfiltered. You guys have seen me talk about this brand many times in the past. I've done a full dedicated YouTube video on the brand. This is completely gone, like completely gone. I have completely finished the face serum. It's incredible. The bronzing drops for the face are beautiful. We've got, what is it? Number 32. I always forget the number she has for everything. Number 32, this is the self tanning cream. 
I have two of them. This is the one I'm currently on. This is a new one. We've also got, this is the Santal body cream. They also have the unscented, but I'm almost done with this Santal. And then I have a backup replacement. My hair is getting like everywhere. It's because I've got oils and the hair that it is on my shirt is just getting everywhere. But beautiful brand. You already know I love it. Clean products. Sivan and her, I think her friends or someone else in her family was using this while pregnant. So we deem it to be pregnancy safe. It was formulated without all the bad ingredients. And I think for her, she and her team really take into consideration quality. The packaging is beautiful, obviously. Everything about it is amazing. And they are going to be launching this self tanning cream in the Santal scent, which I'm so excited about because while I do like this scent, and it's like clean and fresh. I really, really love Santal, and I know you guys do too, so it's gonna be very exciting. But, I mean, huge, huge kudos to her. And again, I think this is not necessarily a brand I've just discovered in 2021, but we're gonna throw it into the mix because I think I've become obsessed with it over the last six months or so. And I do have the new lip hydrating cream. I just have everything. I bought most of these items. I think they did send me a couple things. I think the replacements, to be honest, were sent to me by them, but I, I always buy everything first. And then they see me talk about it and they're like, hey, we'd love to send you some more. And I'm like, please do, because I will definitely use it. So I'm just really happy that I've discovered them. This is one of my favorite self tanning brands along with, as you guys know, Tan Lux. I do love a little Saint Tropez. I think there's a couple other good ones, but Lux Unfiltered is top for me. I like that they use less ingredients to formulate the products. That's always been really important. I originally did a comparison of a Tan Lux self tanner drop that had like the hyaluronic in it. And then I did hers which is the super hydrating bronzing drops. Her ingredient, by her I mean Sivan's, had half the amount of ingredients as the Tan Lux did. I think it was 23 versus like 46. And just that alone to see the less ingredients is so important. The less amount of ingredients in a product, typically the better it can be for you. The more ingredients that you can pronounce, the more ingredients something has, Usually it is not that great for you because there's being they're putting filler ingredients in there things that just don't need to be there But they also keep the product on the shelf for a lot longer a lot of those products that you think of with like L'Oreal or Neutrogena Just larger companies. They're putting a lot of preservatives in there So they can last for the next five to ten years on a shelf because they're producing in bulk not ideal not ideal so with Lux Unfiltered, they're making less, it's just fresher. You want this product, it's just amazing. I can go on and on. There's Obviously, I'm very passionate about all of these brands, but I will end it here. These are all the brands that I just really wanted to talk about and kind of get back into doing a little sit down with you, talk about some things that I really love. Now I have to put all these products back. They go in all of the bathrooms, my nightstand, my filming room. <sighs> I'm gonna be doing this for probably the next 30 minutes, getting everything back to where I got it from. But let me know if you guys have tried any of these products, if any of these are some of your favorites, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.